What's up guys, back with another video. If you couldn't tell from the title, it is a versus video. It is pods versus carts. I actually did a video for TikTok and I uploaded it on YouTube, but with TikTok and YouTube shorts, uh, generally I can't really show like the products or I'll get banned and stuff. So, you know, I definitely wanted to do a dedicated video on this subject because it's obviously something that I use quite often, right? It's always going to be a pod or a cart with me. Well, not always, but you know, occasionally. Basically wanted to make a video a little bit longer than just a minute or like 30 seconds like that video. So here are the products that I have for today's video. It is still the Select cartridge and the Plug Play. The Plug Play being Vanilla Thrilla and the cartridge being Green Guava. And for the cartridge, I have a Toki battery. This isn't the Toki battery that I left at my friend's house. Toki actually, I think they've been watching my videos and they noticed that I haven't been using it anymore and they sent over another one. So I'm happy with that. Toki is definitely a good battery. One of the best batteries that I've tried. And yeah, I have that. I'm gonna take a few hits off this and uh, yeah, just talk about the cartridge itself. Cheers. good hit. So generally with cartridges they're more they're more known than pods. Cartridges came first you know and I feel like they're more universal because with pod systems they're more proprietary so you would have to get that battery for that specific pod but with cartridges you know you can get like I mentioned in that video you can get a raw garden battery and it would fit with the friendly farms cartridge you can get a Urza battery and it could be used with a raw garden cartridge you can just mix and match but it's a lot of variables when it comes to that you know, generally, companies do have proprietary 510 thread batteries, but, you know, they can work with other ones. So I don't know if they can be considered proprietary, but, you know, you'll have a, a raw garden cartridge with the branding on it. And uh, it's set at a specific voltage, so it's made for their cartridge. That's the thing with cartridges. You don't know what voltage these batteries are sometimes, and uh, most of them aren't variable voltage. So you really don't know. But also with cartridges, you can get third-party batteries, and they work really well. You know, some have the lowest voltage up to like 1.6 all the way up to like 5.0, you know? So it just all depends on what battery you have to have the best experience. And uh, yeah, let's just take another hit off the Toki. I do love the fact that their blinkers are only like five seconds, which it gives me the satisfaction of doing a blinker, even though I know it's not like 10 seconds, it's still satisfying to see it blink, even though it's low in time, if that makes sense, but cheers. So, like I said, with cartridges, usually, you know, when you have a 510 thread cartridge battery already, you kind of just want to buy a cartridge. You don't want to buy a pod because when you buy a pod, like a new pod, you have to buy their battery and it's usually like 20 to $25 and that's money out of your pocket just to try a new pod. And I know that can be like, well, you know, why would I spend $20 more just to try this new pod? when I have a battery at home, I can just buy a cartridge. You know, there's so many different cartridge brands that I can, I can basically choose and I don't have to buy their battery because I already have a battery at home. You know, and I see the drawback in a pod system, but let's just say you don't have a 510 thread battery and you want to pick up a pod because you're going to have to buy a battery regardless, whether it's 510 thread or a pod. So uh, you pick up a pod. I think pod systems are the best way to experience your oil because they are made for that specific pod system. Like the oil and the system are made for each other. So when you get a hit off your pod system, it's like the perfect hit. And with pod systems, you gotta realize that the battery is really strong. So you really can't be taking consecutive hits all too often. At the end of the day, it's all preference. And you know, if you already have a cartridge battery, it doesn't really make sense to buy another battery just to try a pod. And I get that. But enough talking. I have the blue steel battery for today's video. We'll put that in. You know what I mean? Let's take this hit. As you can see, I took the same amount of time to take this hit with the other cartridge. And you can see it's just more cloud. Like. <coughs> 
taste is there as well. It's just something about a plug play hit with these new live resins. It definitely brings out all the terps in the oil. And uh, honestly, I've been enjoying plug play for the past a uh, few days now. It's honestly really dope to just have a really nice hit at a press of a button. And uh, as you can hear, my cat is in here. Now she wants to go out, but when I really want her to get her out, So I guess what I'm trying to say, well, let me take a hit first. <laughs> so I guess the biggest difference between cards and pods is that, you know, with cartridges, if you have a battery, you can try all these other brands, you know, that have cartridges. But with a pod system, you kind of only have to just try their own brand you know and um, that's cool if you are like satisfied with just you know having one brand but as a person that likes variety you know that's when cards come in and you know you get so many brands that have cartridges that don't have pods such as Buddies, Urza, Nug, you know um, Friendly Farms I don't, actually I don't know if I think Friendly Farms might be in the that one pod system the one air, air graft I still haven't tried that yet, but from what I've seen, it looks pretty dope. But yes, guys, that is going to be it for this versus video. Hopefully, I explained it well. I'm actually quite medicated, so I hope it turns out good. Uh, if not, I'll just edit it to make me look slightly better, I guess. But hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Peace out.